What's going on guys? This is Joseph from josephmastery.com and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Now in this episode, we're going to be learning how to in implement Google Fonts into a web page. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to open a new tab and go to google.com slash fonts just like so now when you reach the page you'll be greeted with numerous fonts now I'm going to select a few fonts here some for titles body styles and etc and you can select your own but I'm going to choose Oswald just click add to collection open sans Uh, open sans uh, condense. Don't select too many or your website will slow down. But I'm going to select four just for learning purposes. What's another good one? Mm, I've got one good one. Dell. Oh, wait, that's not there. I just forgot. Let's use Anton. Yeah, let's do Anton. Click add to collection. And once you've got all four, click use. Okay, here you can see they ask you to choose which types of the font you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it default, you can select one. But keep in mind on the right, it tells you whether, how slow or how fast your website will load depending um, on your font. So, keep in mind. So, if it's in the green, that indicates that it's alright. Let's scroll down and let's copy this code. And in our header.php, we're going to put that right underneath where we linked our style sheet. Save it. And now, let's go back to our web page. And it says here, integrate the fonts into your CSS. So this is how you're going to use the fonts. So let's say, let's go into here. Let's say we want this, the page title, to be Oswald. Let's copy this. And let's find page title. Oops. Page title. And let's change the font here. So this is saying change the font family to Oswald. And if you can't load Oswald, go back to Sans Serif. So if we save it and check out our website, just like that, Oswald comes up on the left. So what I want to do now is I want to style this a little bit. This looks a bit too close. I'm going to go here and type in letter spacing one pixel. Save it. So now instead of being really cramped up, the letters are a little bit spaced. So if we go to sample page, you can see Oswald is the default font now. Fonts now. So let's change the body font, and we're going to use Open Sans. Copy that, and let's go all the way up to body and change your font. Save it. Refresh the page. And just like that, the font looks so much better. You can see here, that awesome font looks really good. And let's do open sand condense. This is going to be for the author. Let's do author here. And let's paste that straight in. Refresh the page. And you have a nice font for the author. Now let's change, turn up the font size, and maybe lower the, maybe a bit darker. Yep, yeah, there we go. That looks good. So now we have one more font left, and that is Anton. So we're going to get Anton, and we're going to copy that for our title. Now if we take a look. There we go, you can see that font. <laughs> it looks a bit, but that is fine by me. And let's make it a little bit bigger. We can change the color around. So we'll style the A tag inside, the anchor tag inside the title. And let's go letter spacing two and a font size of 25. Refresh the page, maybe a bit bigger. 
Let's try 40 pixels. Might be a bit big, but we'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, that looks alright. We'll leave it at... Okay, maybe not. 30 pixels. Alright, that's good. And we'll change the font color to... Let's make it this dark blue in the background. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> now let's change this font to Oswald, because I reckon Oswald will look good on that. Let's find the widget, widget H2, and we'll copy this code, and we'll put it here. Save our code, and that looks so good. Yeah, it looks a lot better. So that's pretty much how you implement web fonts on our website. Uh, maybe in backstage I might change the fonts up a little bit because some of them don't look very good. But it's up to you whether whatever fonts you like you can implement. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll be doing some new stuff. Okay, see you guys.